good morning everybody happy terrific tuesday you know what's about to go down this is sea temptation coming at you with another commentary of chicago talk i wanted to begin this video by saying namaste peace be on to you and everybody that is watching this video Oh, baby, I got to read this motherfucker today, boy, because this bitch done really done crossed the goddamn line. Anytime when you hear me cussing like this, baby, it's based upon a story that really done, done got under my skin and it's really pissing me off. I got to read this sick bitch, boy, because I don't know, I don't know what the hell is going to stop him, though, but he's just being a complete ass white. Not an asshole, but an ass white. Baby, I got to read him, though. This is breaking news regarding this fucker himself, Mr. R. Kelly. Now, I've done previous videos about him, but I got to read his ass today. Um, it was reported, I think it was on CBS. I w went on their website this morning, and it's a young lady named Faith Rogers. Uh, she is suing R. Kelly, though, for sexual abuse um, that he did. Uh, for what was told, though, he had committed sexual acts. Uh, that was non-consensual and it was reported that she was in a relationship with him at age 19 now keep in mind though that this motherfucker is now he's 51 years of age at the time she was 19 she was in a relationship with him and you know he had paid for her trip you know she had flew him out of she he flew her out of town to come see him at one of his concerts pay for her hotel and then one day he one uh, I think that same night he walked in, turned on all, cut on all the lights, and told her, demanding her to take all of her clothes off. And on top of that, though, I read though that he had locked her in a vehicle in a car for eight hours with a childproof lock. I mean, what the fuck kind of motive does R. Kelly have to treat? You know, first of all, at 51 years of age, why in the hell are you being involved with a 19-year-old girl? You know, at 51, man, you need to go somewhere and get you a main boo. Quit fucking around with all these women and go sit your sorry monkey ball ass down somewhere because this this young lady is suing you and she's not going after no settlements. She's going after a jury trial. And nine times out of ten, she's probably going to file criminal charges against him. And guess what? That son of a bitch is going to fuck around. His ass is going to wind up in motherfucking jail, though. You know, and I knew right there, if they made an example out of Bill Cosby, what makes me to believe they're not going to make an example out of this ugly motherfucker? Now, I used to like him back in the day as far as his music, but after all this came out, going back to the story about when he started messing around with Aaliyah, down to when he went to court for all these sexual allegations and messing around with all these teenagers on up to now, that dude is either, it's going to be one or two things that's going to happen to him. Either one, the motherfucker's going to wind up in jail, or number two, he's going to end up fucking around and losing his career. Because I did report in one of my previous videos that one of the executives from RCA, that he's been having uh, conversations with uh, the other executives, and they're talking about removing him from his label. So, like I said, going back to what I said, either he's going to wind up in jail, or he's going to fuck around and lose that contract, or once he loses that contract, it's over and done with him. And I think they said on Spotify, they said they had stopped um, uh, playing his music, but they said he's still streaming, and I don't know how true that is on that, that's just allegedly. But uh, any of which, my whole thing is this, though. At 51 motherfucking years old, dude, you know, cut the bullshit out. Now, for what was explained to me that R. Kelly, though, he was supposed to, allegedly had supposed to be molested by an uncle of his, though, when he was young. But, you know, but, and, and I don't, and what I don't understand in reference to that is why is it that, you know, nobody in his family tried to seek some sort of help for him, though, to try to get some mental help. Then on top of that, he's illiterate. The man don't know how to read. At 51 years old, come on, goddammit, you need to get your, get your shit together because the trail, the trail that you're going down now, the path that you're going to, going down now, baby, you're going to wind yourself fucking yourself up though. And then once it's over, it is over. So, you know, just like the conversation Farrell and I had on the last live stream that if they made an example out of Bill Cosby, what makes me believe though that they're not going to make an example out of R. Kelly? I'm just simply saying, you know, but he need, he need, he needs some serious psychological help though, because the pattern he's going at it right now. And then these, all these other women he was messing around with and allegedly had a sexual cult <clears throat> was telling him to call him daddy. I mean, the way I look at that, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still getting over this slight cold. The way I look at it is this though. I mean, it's all about control with him. It's all about control, you know, and it's all a mind game. 
you know, that's what sick motherfuckers like him do. I mean, he's just is all about control and he's playing games and he need to really go somewhere and sit his ass down and get him some help though and get his life together because, you know, I, I don't feel sorry for him though because he's going to get what the fuck is coming to him. So to all of my subscribers, please leave a comment on the bottom. Let me know what you think about this, this breaking news about R. Kelly because he's going to get his ass caught up. That's, that's all I got to say behind him. Oh, and one more thing, ladies and gentlemen, as well. Uh, don't forget, um, I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm trying to zoom in on with the camera here. Uh, this is my Sea Temptation ring. It's gold. I mean, I'm sorry, silver with gold trimming on the top and bottom. And if you're interested in having an engra engraved ring like this, <clears throat> all you got to simply do, send me a donation. Make a donation to the show of $25. Once you do that, then, you know, that's when I'll contact my man, uh, Mr. Will, Will Gettings of Will's Custom Rings. He'll make up the ring, and he'll he'll send it directly to you. So, again, like I said, a $25 donation, you'll be entitled to receive this ring, and it is a real, very nice ring. And it'll be a nice ring for either yourself or for a relative or a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife, you know, whatever. You know, it's a really nice gift, you know, and it's, and it's, and it's, really, it's really sentimental. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, but let me know what you guys think about this R. Kelly situation, because that, that is one sick bastard. That's all I got to say. Fucking around, though, with, with a 19-year-old, he's 51 years old. Get your ass out of here with that bullshit. He need his ass whooped for that shit, though. Matter of fact, if matter of fact, I'm going to state this, and I'm going to let you guys go. Matter of fact, if he keeps on with that... You know, messing around with these young girls, these teenagers, and these parents stuff up, and they find out he's responsible, though, somebody, he, somebody gonna shoot his ass. That's all I gotta say. But anyway, let me not, leave a comment on the bottom, let me got, let, let me know what you guys think. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, because my time is limited. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna say that I love you, I bless you, I have faith in you, and I realize the creator in each and every one of you. So until the next video... I'm going to go ahead and drop this mic. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Stay blessed. Namaste. One love. Peace.